Port Huron? Port Huron. Uh, it's a long trip up there. They, they've got kind of an odd arena. It's got just seats on three sides, if I'm not mistaken. The one the one end doesn't have have seats. Uh, they might have one row for handicap, but uh, it's kind of a rundown arena. It, it could use a lot of a lot of work, I think. Okay. Quad City. Quad City, beautiful place. Uh, right across the street from John Deere. Uh, it's a nice arena. I heard they uh, made legal size ice there. Uh, they extended the ice this year, so uh, uh, I would like to get back up and, and see it. All right, uh, Kalamazoo. They're not in the league anymore, but. Kalamazoo, that was a nice place to go. We loved it. It's a close drive. Hour and 45 minutes, you're there. Mm -hmm. The fans was terrific. Uh, best yeah. fans of any of the teams that I know of. And uh, I hated to see them drop out. I don't know if they're going to be able to make it into the higher league, but uh, I guess the only thing you can do is wish them the best of luck. But I'm sure they'll be back in the league in a couple of years. All right, and your Fort Wayne Comets. Right, I have been for a long, long time. <laughs> I like the arena here. They've got good owners. Best owners we've had in a long, long time. Uh, uh, they've kept the prices reasonable. They uh, make it fan friendly, and uh, I wish them the best of luck. All right, all right. Well, that's all for us tonight, Comet fans. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you, Wendy. I appreciate it. Okay, and that's the view from the stands. Back to you, Tim and.